Hello again, Paul Cook here from Music Traders and we're here today to introduce the new Ringway Academy. This is the first of many presentations that we're going to be bringing to you guys who already own the RS1000 to give you some tricks and tips on how to get the best out of this machine. And for those of you who don't, it's a great insight into what a wonderful product that we've got to show you. In our first presentation, we showed you our little legend, 128 preset registrations for you guys to just push a button and enjoy the sounds we've put there for you. But like some people don't like sugar in their coffee, these might not be to your taste. So now we're going to take you on a journey that shows you how you can start and individualise this instrument to your own tastes. In this section we'd like to show you how easy it is to use a basic block registration or sound that we've put in there for you, how easy it is for you to change that to your own liking. And for this example we're going to use the sound that sits in bank B button 1 from the registration chart. This is pan pipes. So let's have a listen to how that sounds. So there we have it, a nice pan pipe sound with an easy ballad behind us. But let's say for instance I wanted to go into the mid late of the song or I wanted to change the registration so far along so I use a guitar. By looking to the screen in front of me I can see that upper one is showing me the pan flute that we've just used. I now wish to change that to a guitar. I simply go to the upper wand keyboard voice section and select guitar and bass. You'll notice that the top part of the screen has stayed static for you so you can see what you're doing. Below we have the third of the screen which is showing us now all the guitars that are available to us. If you notice sitting here on the right a third of the way up we have one stroke eight. This is the first page of eight pages of guitars that we can actually select. For this piece I want to use the folk guitar. The folk guitar is sitting down here on the right at the bottom and I literally use the switch below to select that sound. Now you notice on upper one voice number one the folk guitar is showing. You'll notice as I've selected a different sound the folk guitar is actually an octave too high but to play it an octave lower is going to become uncomfortable for me. So now I need to change the pitch or the octave that the guitar is sitting in. It's so easy to do. By pushing the button again you'll notice the bottom third of the screen has now changed and shown us the parameters that we can change within this sound. Parameters is a big word. It's just lots of different things that we can do to that sound. And for example if we look across onto the fourth set of buttons in the screen we have feet. Like the organ pipes 16, 8, 4 and 2 the different length of the pipe will give a different pitch. So in this case the guitar if I go to feet and push the button below it automatically drops the guitar by an octave. Now let's see how that sounds. So I think you'd agree with me that sounds far better. But now I've changed from our original registration. And I'd like to keep that 
for future use. And all I have to do is simply touch the memory button that sits here and the corresponding button I wish it to go to. The button will flash and that's it. Now we have folk guitar that is set in button 2. Number 1 is giving me the pan flute. Number 2 is giving me the folk guitar. The rhythm unit, the left hand, the bass pedal, everything else all remains the same. But now I've got two different sounds for my piece of music.